Right, so I have here a, a weedless keel hook. This is a 2 and it has a little lead weight on it. And we're going to try and tie a little jack pike. So, we take our hook. You have very little to tie on here, by the way. So, just need to varnish that to make sure nothing slips off it. I have here a mix of fibres. There's sort of blondes and goldy sort of colours, green, olive in there. And I've created quite a slim, long bunch of it. So you pull your fibres past one another and that will give you a taper which you can make as long or as short a taper as you feel like. I'm going to set that hanging out the back here. Tying it in about two thirds to three quarters of the way along its length. Trying to tie right up against the bend here. Get some glue onto our thread. Glue that to set it, and I'm going to pull it back because these little jack pike are quite thin. I have a little thing here about five inches or so long. around and again fold it back on itself it's just to give us a little bit of flash if you ever look at a pike his scales have sort of like a little gold flash in them So I'm going to use a little bit of arctic fox for this. Pull out a bunch and because I don't want much bulk here I'm going to pull out a lot of the under fibre. And I'm going to tie it in in reverse forwards and underneath the underneath the eye of the hook. And then for the top of the head, uh, again up to self you could use black or something like that. A sort of a bit of olive this is a bit of olive fox with a uh, with black tips to it again weed out a lot of the under fur
set that in on top. Fold those two bunches so the white underneath and the green on top. I'm going to leave the underside of our white head white and with a marker I'm just going to mark the top part of it brown. into that and I'm going to pull it back because I want it fairly thin. here. I'm going to start off with a sort of this is called forest green. I'm going to create quite wide green bands. sort of a brownie colored marker. Just at the rear of our green bands I'm doing this sort of overlapping slightly into them. darken down the top of the head and if you want you can run that along the black of the back of the flag. That was the tang that I 
them. So now I'm going to put some sort of an eye on it. So, uh, you can put a goldie eye on it or sort of a green. I'm going to go with this. Put a blob on the back of our eye. And then set that. In. Because it's a pike imitation, I'm setting it relatively far back. Jack Pike casting fly uh, for casting with a, a spinning rod. Although the weight in that is not excessive, you could probably manage it with a with a fly rod if you if you really wanted. Little Jack Pike weedless keel fly. <laughs> 